I will now be doing a monologue from the 1970 stage play, Yentl. Papa, it's me, Yentl. Papa, why did you leave me like this? Where should I go? What should I do with myself? And what should I do with all the things you've taught me? I've read the book of Job. I've read the book of proper conduct, and there's nothing. No answers. No answers for me in any of the books. Master of the universe, what did you create woman for? Just to bear children and light candles on Friday night? And if so, why did you give us souls? Answer me, God! Forgive me, Papa. I have no choice. For if there was a mistake made in heaven, shouldn't it be corrected? Thank you. I will now be doing a monologue from Peter and the Starcatchers. You stop that right now! I won't answer any such question. You're inclining towards the sentimental, and that's all well and good for a boy, but the fact is, we girls can't afford to be sentimental. We instead must be strong. And when I marry, my husband will... Not you, you swat! Ugh, the ego! And when I marry, I shall make it very clear to that person that sentimentality is not on the calendar. He will have to lump it or leave it. And if he should leave, I'll stay a spinster and tie my hair back and volunteer weekends at a hospital. And I'll love wards for their own sake, like Hyacinth and Piccadilly and Onyx. And I'll have a good old dog and think what I like and be part of a different sort of family with friends, you know, who understand that things are only worth what you're willing to give up for them. Even if I, in the face of death, you know, may have wanted to.